Okay, um, I think this is going to be one of the worst videos ever produced on YouTube. I am not a baby boomer, but I am close. I like to think of it as baby boomer adjacent, which means I have no idea how to work a modern cell phone. Even though this is an iPhone 7, it's still too advanced for me. But I thought before I started, maybe I could make it better by showing you my flowers. See, I can grow flowers. I don't think I can do videos, but I can do flowers. Okay, so here's my project. I'm putting junk in water. I'm putting an old photograph that's all faded. I'm putting a bill. I'm putting a catalog. Whoops. I'm putting a brochure. And I'm putting a CD. See my CD? It's an awful CD. Oh, there's no, there's not even a CD in it. It's that bad. Okay, so there you go. I'll throw in the case. Okay, those are the things I'm getting wet. Okay, so I'm going to stop now and um, let them sit for a while. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm back. It's been about an hour and I want to see how my stuff went. Um, Dr. L recommended using a spatula type thing, but I only have a butter knife, so I'm going to use that. And I've got paper towels, see, paper towels, and clothespins, clothespins. Okay, I'm going to try it. Okay, the first thing I put in was a CD cover with the, whoops. Okay, this is the worst camera work. I understand that, like, people can do an entire movie on an iPhone, but I can't. So here's the back side of it. It's all wet, but it's hard to get to, so, because of the plastic, so forget that. Oh, here's the, what was in it. Okay, that's all wet. But it seems to be only wet. So I'm going to put a paper towel on it and see how it does. Okay, I put a paper towel on it. I got gloves on. Left over from the pandemic. Let's see what happens. Oh, it seems to be doing pretty well. I think if I kept it Oops, kept it inside paper towels. It might be recoverable. Hold on, I'm going to try more paper towels. Okay, so you can see here that I've, I've put paper towels. I've put the, the picture between paper towels, and I'm weighting it down with the rest of the CD cover, which I dried off. Okay, here is a brochure that we used when we were oops, preserving my family's cemetery. My family got to California in 1774, and we have our own cemetery where our family buried their dead because it was too far to go to the local California mission. So we had, um, um, where, where are we here? Oh, the cemetery is surrounded by adobe walls, and we needed to find a company that could preserve, repair and preserve our adobe walls. So this was their brochure and I'm just taking it out here and I put it on a wet paper towel. That wasn't very smart of me. Let me get a dry paper towel. Okay, hold on. Okay, and then as you can see, I was not that careful, so I ripped it. Look, it's all ripped up. So I think that I will call, I can call the company and get another one, um, but that's about all I'd be able to do for this. I'm gonna try to, um, separate the pages with my butter knife. Whoops, let's see here. Separate the pages with my butter knife. That's not working. Oh, here it comes. Oh, I did it. You can see that it's all wet. Oh, there we are. You can see that it's all wet and I can probably 
fix this by interleaving paper towels on it to absorb the water. This one's glossy, so I, I, I think, I think it's repairable. Okay, so that one's done. Let me, um, I have no idea what I'm doing with this phone. Okay, I'm gonna try my catalog. Hold on. Okay, there goes. Oh my goodness, I'm still recording. Um, I am so bad at this, I apologize for being the worst cameraman. It's obvious that my career in show business as a movie maker is, well, it, it would be very short. Okay, so here is the photograph hung up and I can see now that it's in the sun. You can't see it very well because my sun angle isn't very good because I am not a movie um, lighting director. I see that it's totally washed out. So uh, that's a disaster too. Well, it looks like everything I have, I ruined. And I can just say they were all ruined anyway. Um, I just helped them on their way to their death. Um, kind of like Kevorkian. That's a reference that many of you probably wouldn't know. Um, but I do know this, that this whole exercise in document recovery makes me very nervous about my archives because they are located in a basement of a high school with a water pipe running the entire length of the archives. So what I'm gonna do is, there's no recovery plan. Nobody knows anything about it. We just look at the pipe and say, oh, we're sunk. So I think I am going to use what I've learned in this class and create a disaster plan and a recovery plan. And I will pound on the executives until they do things my way. Okay, bye.